requesting materials in Burns Library. So, you've used the Searching for Burns Library Materials Core Skills video to find something listed in the library database that you'd like to use. Now, how do you request it so it's ready for your research appointment? First, make sure it is only available in Burns Library. Some items from our collections can be found in several libraries across campus. If books are held somewhere besides Burns Library, they can usually be checked out and taken home with you. Burns copies can't be checked out and need to be used in the Burns Library reading room. Not all our collections are actually stored on site in Burns Library. If you're interested in using something right away, make sure your items are stored here at Burns. On-site items have the message, Find in Burns Library, Reading Room Use Only. If something is stored off-site, it will have the message, Contact Burns Library, Advance Notice Needed. We need at least five business days to make it available for you to do research in the reading room with that material. As you identify what you would like to see from searching the library catalog, click the blue Schedule Visit to Burns Library link. You will be prompted to sign into your Burns Library account, the online request management system we use here at Burns. If you already have a Burns Library account, go ahead and log in through the appropriate portal with your username and password, and you will return to your request form. If you haven't created an account yet, use either the Boston College students, faculty, and staff sign-in box to register with your BC username and password, or use the guest researchers box to register as a guest researcher. Be sure to review our registration policies in detail. There may be a pop quiz and we expect you to know and follow these during your visit. You will then fill out the registration form. After that, you will be returned to your request form. To complete the form for books, review item information that has been pre-populated and add details on the specific volume or copy you wish to see, if this is needed. Leave any notes on your request in the Special Requests or Question field. This is an optional field. If you aren't sure when you'll be visiting, you can save requests for later. But if you'd like to visit the reading room, schedule the date you would like to visit at the end of the request form and press Submit. Don't forget to check our website for more details about when we are open. To complete the form for archival boxes, Review the collection information and add the boxes you want to see into the box field. Materials are pulled and delivered at a box level, so you only need to list each box once. To identify the boxes you want to see in the reading room, you will need to refer to the finding aid. Either click the finding aid link under the title, or you can find another link at the end of the catalog record under links. If you are requesting multiple boxes, you can clone requests from your Burns Library account to quickly or easily change box numbers. For more information, see the Managing Your Burns Library Account Core Skills video. To request any material that has been digitized, enter the digital content number from the finding aid instead of a box number. Leave any notes on your request in the Special Requests or Questions field. Again, this is an optional field. If you aren't sure when you'll be visiting, you can save requests for later. If you'd like to visit the reading room, schedule the date you would like at the end of the request form and press submit. Don't forget to check our website for more details about when we are open. The reading room staff will have the materials ready for you for your visit. You'll simply need to show a school or government issued ID and take a photograph to finish your registration process, and then you will be free to begin your research visit. Contact us if you have any questions or problems requesting materials. We're happy to help.